Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Carlos here from Premiere Viewer, and this is something I think most YouTubers should have in the procession at one point or another. This is my top five microphones to have for YouTube. So we're gonna get right into this. Microphone number one would be a XLR slash USB microphone. The reason why I say you should have an XLR slash USB microphone, they make several different versions of this kind of microphone. This is the Knox microphone. I actually did a review on this, but the versatility of having XLR and USB means that you, it's travel friendly and you're gonna get the best of both worlds when it comes to sound quality. If you're looking just to record straight from your laptop, that's where the USB comes in. But if you wanna get a little bit more professional audio, you can use the XLR port. And one of the ways you can use the XLR port is with another recorder slash microphone that I just picked up, but something most people should consider having. So one of the benefits of having a microphone slash recorder like this is that not only do you have the capability of having a lav on you at all times with this portable recorder, but you also have the capability of connecting XLR to it. And that's where that microphone comes in. So this is my second re recommendation for anyone looking to up their audio quality, especially on the go. Get yourself the Zoom F1 or any of the Zoom products. You have the Zoom F1 here, which is really, look how small it is and yet it's very compact and packs a big punch. But you can do the Zoom H4n, Zoom H4n Pro, Zoom H5. I, I recommend this one because of the portability and the functionality that this thing has. So as long as you don't need phantom power with the microphone, and a microphone like this does not need phantom power, you could just plug and play with this bad boy. And this is also a interface. So think about that. So you have this guy and the microphone I just showed you, two bangers. You're getting you're getting more than a couple microphones in just those two microphones itself. So the next one will be this little guy right here. So the benefit of having this guy right here is that it, it runs anywhere between 35 to $50 and it's an amazing quality microphone. It's small compact, so if you need to have it on a mirrorless camera or even your DSLR, the sound quality is great and the great thing is it doesn't need batteries is just plug and play into your, your camera and you're good to go. This is pretty much the best vlogging setup you can have. A small compact um, microphone that gives you the best of both worlds. Now, they come in various uh, variations. You have, this is a Comica, and this is the Rode Video Micro, which is a staple in vlogging community. So the functionality between the two are pretty much identical. In fact, this one runs a little bit hotter as far as your input, so you actually get a better signal with this. It's not downplaying the signal that comes out of this, but this, if you have a noisy preamp on your mic on your camera, this probably would benefit you a little bit more. The next microphone I think you should have is a wireless lav kit, but this lav mic I've shot pretty much all my videos since I got the lav system, and it's been phenomenal. If you're in a studio environment, this has super amounts of benefits using it. Not only just that, but it's definitely a plug and play. It has strong preamps and it's very versatile. Again, if you have this, if you have this system, you're able to capture audio without having to do any syncing in post-processing, which is one of the reasons why I tend to just use this because it takes out some of the work that having to sync up audio does. And the last microphone I would say that one should have for themselves, a shotgun condenser microphone. Now the one I have right here is the MKE 600 and this is a definitely, it's a banger when it comes to price point and versatility. So anyone knows that lavs are great for this one man band aspect of it, but if you even wanna increase the bass in your in your voice, something like a shotgun mic elevated off camera just above where you can't see it, you can definitely get some really crispy 
uh, sound because especially if you're in a very echoey room, like I have right here, I have vault ceilings. I tend not to use this just because um, I have other intent for me and my workflow, but when I do use it, you can use this as a voiceover microphone because it is that good. And it's just versatility. You can use this as a, if you're in some sort of uh, environment where you're doing some something like NAB, you can use this for like broadcasting and, and doing interviews. It makes a huge difference on your versatility and being able to go, like if you have a recorder like this where it doesn't produce phantom power, you can still use this microphone with it. So this thing right here with this adapter makes this a deadly combination. Guys, I can't stress enough, these microphones are something you should really consider having in your bag, in your travel bag, in your studio. Think about these things. This microphone itself, uh, great for voiceover and does an amazing job when it comes to this versatility because of the XLR and USB. It's simply that good. Again, links to all these microphones. And if you have any questions about some of these microphones, just leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer anything and everything you guys throw at me. Guys, thank you for tuning in. As always, drop me a like on this video. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Also, hit that bell notification since YouTube decides you have to do multiple steps in order to get your favorite YouTubers videos in your page. So do that and like I always say, I'll see you around.